Hi everyone, I'm Jason Christopher and today I'm gonna show you how I gained 800,000 pesos trading Ayala Land in the Philippine Stock Exchange. First of all, papakita ko muna sa inyo yung trade mismo and then after that I will show you step by step starting from the watch listing process, kung bakit ako nag-enter, exit, etc. So here's our Ali trade. We bought here at 22.55 with 350,000 shares and we sold here 24.85 175,000 shares in the remaining half here at 25.5 or on total we gained 11.64% in this Ali trade. Andiyan na lahat, pati mga resibo, so you can verify the trade yourself. And kung nakikita nyo, it's not like I'm buying and cutting and buying and cutting and then natsambahan lang natin na bumili tayo at 22.55 and then pinos lang natin yung gains. No! The last time that I bought Ali was around this level. I actually bought it around here at 28 pesos dito sa candle na to and then I sold it here around 32 pesos and that's the last time that I touched Ali actually and then dito I bought here at 22.55 and then sold it here so hindi yan yung buy cut buy cut and then mamamatay ka na lang kakabili no so kumaga you will die a thousand cuts when trading the bounce Accuracy is important. First of all, paano ko ba na-spot itong si Ali? Tandaan nyo, every bear market, kailangan nyo hanapin yung mga stocks na nag-hold ng kanilang structure and yung mga binibintahan ng malakas. Because pag nag-reverse yung market, yung mga nag-hold ng kanilang structure, those tend to go up even higher. And those who are being sold down tend to bounce the strongest. In the case of Ali, kitang-kita naman, it was being heavily sold down Evident by these large volume candles. Diba? Kitang kita yung bagsak niya with high volume candles. And take note, pag sinabi kong high volume candles, hindi ibig sabihin na relative to the structure itself, kailangan at least 50 million yung traded value ng stock on average. Kasi if you do this on basura stocks, after mag-sell down yan, pag bili mo ng bounce, mag-sell down ulit yan. So avoid basura stocks when doing these strategies. Now, sa risk management, on any trade, kailangan maximum of 1% loss ka lang on your portfolio equity. Say, bumili ka dito and nag-cut loss ka dito, kailangan yung difference dyan is just 1% of your total portfolio. It means that if may 100,000 pesos ka sa iyong portfolio, dapat 1,000 lang yung maximum loss mo per trade. You can lose 500 pesos, 800 pesos, but maximum is 1,000 pesos only relative to your account size. Next, you need to have a maximum of 25% port allocation per stock. This is to avoid over allocation and minsan after mong bumili, let's say nag 80% allocation ka and nag drop lang siya ng 4%, 3%, mapapabenta ka kaagad. And then you know what happens after mo magbenta? Ayan, aakit na naman. And people wonder why they lose in the stock market. So again, 1% max loss per trade and 25% max allocation. So again, we spotted Ali because it was being heavily sold down by the market. And pag heavily sold down yung stock, kailangan abangan natin ito sa weekly structure. So punta tayo sa weekly, and dito na tayo sa weekly chart. And then let's zoom out dito sa chart ni Ali. You can almost see kaagad kung saan yung mga levels na inaabangan natin. So in this case, yung pinakauna mong makikita is the 19.44 pandemic low. Pero hindi yan dapat yung inaabangan natin because... Malakas na yung sell down eh. Pag dyan ka pa umaabang, most likely hindi ka makakapasok kay Ali. So zooming out again, dito on the leftmost part, meron tayong mga levels dyan. As you can see, meron tayong area of consolidation here around 2012 at 22 pesos. And then, merong week lang dito at 23 pesos. So my target here for my entry is around 22 to 23 peso area. So now, going back to the present date, as you can see, dyan tayo nag-bounce recently. So let's go to the daily chart. Ayan, we are waiting for it around 22 to 23 peso area na. Kailangan pag-bounce place yung isipin nyo palagi, bibili ka dapat after na wala ng sellers. So in this case, pag sinabi mong wala ng sellers, yung iba, 
pag nakita nila yung heavily selling volume dito kay Ali, let's say dito, nung napasag yung 22.5, sabi nila, ay, meron pa tong downside. Now, when that happens, ako, instead of waiting for a lower level, nag-aabang na ako magbili during the day or even sa closing price na ni Ali. And then yung isa pa is the TP Friday itself. Yung sinasabi nila na TP Friday wherein yung mga buyers or mga traders ayaw na nila mag-hold ng risk during the weekends. Ako, since I know that information, yung iba magbebenta na lang yan at a lower price because they don't want to hold the position on the weekends kasi baka mayroong mga surprises or whatsoever. And since nagbebenta sila at whatever price, tayo, we can buy at a lower price. Kumbaga, that's how I trade the stock market. I think about what others are thinking and then doing the opposite of what they are thinking. So again, dito sa Ali Trade, when I saw people selling 1 million shares at 22.5, sabi ko, ay, malapit na yung entry ko. And that's when I bought at the closing price of 22.55,350,000 shares, even if maleki pa yung nasa offer side. Now, bakit naman tayo napa-exit dito kay Ali? As you can see, let us measure the profit from our entry point up until the close of the green candle here. So that's already around... 10%. So, for me, pag index stock siya, and for one day, nag-profit ka na ng around 10%, trade management lang. You just sell half. Lalo na pag bear market, you want to sell on strength. Pag madali mag-sell, dyan ka magbenta. Bakit hindi ko hinintay yung the next day open before mag-sell? Because, ayun nga, super dry ng Philippine Stock Exchange ngayon. That's why pag open yung market, wala masyadong mga bids na pag sisilan mo. And then what happened to my remaining half is that I am observing what will happen to Ali when I saw this candle na super ganda na sana ng intraday movement niya. Pero bumalik siya sa open price niya, nagbenta na ako at 25.5. And the next day, ayun nga, bumagsak na lang si Ali. And hopefully, we can see it again drop by another few percentage points para makabili tayo at a lower price. So that's my Ali trade. As you can see, wala akong ginagamit na mga indicators. Just price action and volume of the stock. Wala tayong mga MAs, Elliott Waves, etc. We just do what the market does. So that's all for my Ali trade. I hope you learned something new. And if you have some questions, join our group here and personally comment on our trade day section para maka-answer tayo sa mga questions ninyo. So that's all everyone. Thank you and goodbye.